Welcome back. Now that you know how to build a report based on data from a single board, let's demonstrate how to build a report based on multiple boards. The main advantage of multi-board reporting is that it allows you to bring in multiple sets of data to one place to either see a combined view or to compare two or more sets of data. While we focused on a project workflow in the single board example, this time we will look at a process workflow. Going back to our operations team, another part of their job is to handle facilities requests where there is a unified process across the offices for handling these requests. There are two existing offices, Miami and New York, and each has its own ops team. Now that we are opening another office, management wants to make sure the new team is working as efficiently as the existing offices in handling these requests. They also want to measure and compare the data between the different office locations. The existing offices each use a board to manage their facilities requests and then management has built out a dashboard which pulls data from both of these boards. Now, let's go into my Monday account. First, let's take a look at one of these boards and quickly go over the use case which it serves. When you're building reports where you wanna measure the same metrics across different boards, it's important that the boards are built as similar as possible so the data can be pulled seamlessly into the dashboard. So in our example, both the New York and Miami boards are pretty much identical. As a side note, this board was originally created using the templates for our facilities requests, which can be found within our template center here. We took this board and customized it to make sure that it aligned with the metrics in our use case that we were looking to see. From a workflow perspective, this template allows anyone who needs facilities help to fill out a form with all of the information needed for the facilities team to start working on the request. If you haven't already checked out Monday Forms, they're a great way to bring in any new data to a board from outside and work specifically well with any kind of request management. They allow the request manager to predefine the information needed from the requester so that they can begin to work on the different requests. Since each office location has its own board, whenever a request is submitted, all of the information will populate into the relevant columns on the board, which will make reviewing the request more streamlined. Now, we have created a dashboard connected to both the Miami and New York teams boards and have built it out in order to see the following metrics. Here we're showing how many requests are in each stage at any time across the different offices, the number of requests handled per office team per quarter, the total duration for handling a request per office team, and we're showing whether each office is meeting its KPIs for its SLA goals. Join us in the next chapter to see how we created our dashboard based on our boards and how we are able to compare the same data metrics across multiple locations.